My name is Oliver Mellon. I'm a DFLA student at the University of Oxford, supervised by Morris Fallon and Ioannis Savutis, in collaboration with Romeo Orsolino, David Sorovic, and Matteo Gizer. I present our work on receding horizon perceptive trajectory optimization for dynamic legged locomotion with learned initialization. The research community has been presenting impressive reactive model and reinforcement learning based controllers for legged robots. In our work, we focus on advancing legged robot locomotion beyond short horizon dynamic reactions toward the intuitive planning exhibited by animals and humans. We have been building upon our previous work, which demonstrated reliable execution of long horizon dynamic and adaptive motions initialized by a neural network. Our current approach, pre-plans trajectories mid-motion, integrates perception to build a model of the environment and uses a learning-based approach which accommodates varying terrain and dynamic initial and final conditions. In this presentation, I will give an overview of our method, focusing on the overall system, the employed formulation, a specific range of motion constraint we found helpful, the two initialization schemes, and some implementation details. Then I will present the results obtained using the real animal C quadruped and conclude this talk focusing on our current objectives. In this paper, we present a perceptive receding horizon planner, Tower MPC. We propose two alternate methods for initializing the nonlinear programming problem. The first is a heuristic, which naively reuses remaining parts of previous solutions and uses linear interpolation for the emerging horizon. The second is a neural network, LMTR, which leverages previous experience based on context to provide a near-optimal dynamic motion, which requires little refinement, thus reducing the computation time. The initializers are commanded by user input and integrate sensor information in the form of the estimated state and the 2.5D height map. Using the latter, we compute the cost map to penalize footholds and extract prominent terrain features. The optimization returns base and feed trajectories, which are fed into the whole body controller, which computes the corresponding set points for the actuator level controller. We use the single rigid body dynamics model. Our formulation is based on Hermite Simpson direct collocation, with the state represented using polynomials of Hermite form. That is, the polynomials are defined by the values and derivatives at the nodes. We use phase-based end effector parametrization, which enables the base and end effector nodes to be asynchronous, allowing the phase durations to be optimized to achieve an aperiodic contact sequence. To enable receding horizon control and facilitate its initialization, we keep the dimensionality of the problem constant by proposing a segmentation-based formulation with asynchronous base and feed time horizons. This is vital for the training of the neural network, which has a fixed size output of a given set of optimization variables. The base, linear and angular position and velocity splines are defined by regularly spaced nodes. The optimization horizon is defined between the first and the last node. Each foot has a stance phase, during which the foot position remains constant and the ground reaction forces are defined using three third-order polynomials with two adjustable nodes. We decided to formulate our problem using two stance phases and a single swing phase. This applies to all legs. The overall problem is defined between the earliest beginning of any first stance phase and the latest ending of any second stance phase. Notably, the horizons of the feet and the base are asynchronous. Our approach allows for the constraints to be applied at the nodes or anywhere along the connecting polynomials. We use 3D geometric objects called superquadrics, which are related to 2D superellipses. Their curvature is defined by independent arbitrary coefficients and exponents, which can be chosen to achieve a rounded convex box. More desirably, they can be combined with a box, resulting in a more appropriate range of motion constraint for a foot. When using just a box, the robot exploits its corners in an attempt to maximize the length of the stride. Superquadrics help avoid this unwanted behavior while creating a larger operational space. First of our two proposed initialization schemes is the heuristic. When replanning, it reuses the primal variables from the previous solution. The outstanding section of the trajectory is linearly interpolated to a user-defined goal. The trajectory is then refined. The heuristic initializes the problem using a predefined gate, such as a trot. 
The second initialization scheme is the Latent Mode Trajectory Regressor, LMTR. We have introduced it in our earlier work. The regressor is trained using expert data and is used to infer near-optimal dynamic segments. Consider a scenario where the robot is asked to cross three obstacles, between some initial and final stationary poses. When generating the expert data, the stationary horizon problem is initialized using linear interpolation. It is solved to produce an optimal trajectory. Here are some examples of the generated trajectories on steps of random depths, heights, and orientations. We use a realistic physics simulator to validate the viability of these motions. Starting at a node, we process the stationary horizon trajectories by establishing the receding horizon task and the corresponding trajectory segment. These are then used to train the LMTR. This is done by training a conditional variational autoencoder, which consists of an encoder network conditioned on the task X and similarly a decoder network, which we term the LMTR. The LMTR requires a policy pi as its mode selector. When deployed, the regressor expects an input which includes the state, a distant goal, and the information about the prominent features of the terrain. These are shown here in blue. The decoder then decides on the dynamic final condition and reconstructs the dynamic trajectory segment to hat. This output is shown in red. We deployed the replanner initialized by the LMTR on a series of arbitrary steps. The inferred initial guesses were refined online by the optimizer. In the figure, the cost and primal invisibility values at the start and end of each replanning cycle are shown in light and dark shades of blue respectively. In addition to this numerical analysis, we tested the trajectories in a physics simulator. During deployment, we were posed with two challenges we had to address. The long computation time creates a significant delay between the time at which we begin the optimization and the time at which a solution is returned. To tackle this, we used a simple predictor which merged information about the current and predicted states. The second problem became apparent when dealing with the real elevation map. The imperfect depth information was causing the robot to apply force before a foot was in contact with the terrain. This was dealt with by enforcing non-zero vertical velocities at touchdown and adapting the controller to continue pressing the foot down until contact was detected. We have deployed our system on the real Animal C quadruped. During one of the tests, we used the heuristic to walk over a series of pallets for five and a half minutes. Throughout this time, the whole body controller was able to track the resulting trajectories as indicated by the plot showing the small and bounded base position and orientation errors. Informed by perception, we are able to traverse uneven terrain. The optimizer places footholds on the elevation map while using the cost map to keep them away from obstacles such as edges. The swing motion accounts for each step height, reducing the risk of collision between the shins and the terrain. In this video, the robot trots over the same terrain. This symmetric gait results in a less energetic motion of the base, which makes the solver converge faster. At each replying cycle, the robot tends towards a near-term goal provided by an operator via a user interface. The onboard system allowed us to cross up to 20 cm high steps. Because we are exploring a large state space, the planner can produce unwanted behaviors, which we are working on improving. We started with locomotion on flat ground. By generating expert data with varying initial conditions, we successfully executed a dynamic trot-like motion initialized by the LMTR with minimal tracking error. As each trajectory segment is refined online by the optimizer, we are able to adapt the initial guess from the flat ground LMTR and traverse mild terrain. In summary, the main contributions of this work are a segmentation-based formulation which facilitates replanning, the incorporation of two initialization schemes, and the validation of the proposed approach on the Animal C quadruped. Some aspects of our approach can be improved. While solving a nonlinear problem is difficult, the low replanning frequency is mainly due to a non-optimized implementation. 
By exploiting a large state space, we can occasionally run into corner cases that impact convergence. The learned initialization produces dynamic motions with long strides, which are challenging to execute on hardware. We are addressing these limitations in our ongoing work. We are planning to exploit the sparsity of the problem. We are applying terrain relative constraints to the base motion to avoid unwanted behaviors. We are improving the robustness of the system on hardware by identifying and tackling the failure modes.